Hey everybody, this is Alexis Cabrera. <laughs> and in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to create new elements, how to compose new elements, but in a different way, and not in a usual way. It can be anything, it can be, it can be melodies, it can be percussions, it can be drums, it can be fills, can be absolutely anything, just a, a different approach of composition. So let's jump in. So I have, you know, this groove, and this, <laughs> hey buddy, and this, okay. <laughs> and I have this groove with the bass line, you know, the basics. There you go. And what I want to do is, in, a, in an audio channel, what we can do is, for example, let's load a bunch of, let's create some, for example, synths, parts, something. So let's load a bunch of, a bunch of samples from I'm loading it now from my sample pack from sample market so something like this and maybe this one no. something that it's sort of in the same in the same tonality you know so then we don't make so much so many mistakes you know something like this okay so this is enough just to give you a try. So, the key for this technique is the follow actions. This one's over there. If you don't see it, you need to open it from this triangle. Yeah. So then uh, I select everything, I activate the follow action, and then I unlink it. Yeah. And then I have now this, uh, this measurement that is actually. Um, every how many bars or every how many time um, it's gonna do something, yeah? So let's set it to, for example, let's set it to two beats like this. And uh, and the action that it's gonna do, it's gonna play other. So it means that it's gonna play randomly anything. So let's try it. <laughs> You know, something like this. Now, the thing is that it's starting all the time, you know, from the beginning. And let's say that I have a nice progression. So that's why maybe what I can do is select everything and then I activate legato. It's for everything, no? But I could also do different things. Now we are going to see it, but no. <laughs> You see, so it's playing. You see, it's playing for for from um, it stopped. So this is a very very nice thing. And then, for example, what, for example, uh, let's say that I like the beginning of this. I like the beginning of this one, and I don't want to play the rest. So that's why I will deactivate this one. And then, uh, let's say this one. This one, for example, I'm going to play a little bit less, you know, something like this. And then this one over here, maybe two and a half, and then we have a crazy, crazy results. You see, and something else that I want to say is that, of course, it's playing all the time. There is something playing. So in order to avoid that and to have some space in between, what we can do is I just create this audio clip, lower the volume at the minimum, and then I copy it, maybe the double, like six more times like this, and then I have it also, you know, with the other. So that's why I'm gonna get now some silence. You know, like that. So then it's a little bit more interesting and not so intense. And also the last part of this technique is to record absolutely everything. Thing 
is that then you can treat this clip as an individual so then you can do even more things. There you go. For example, I have 16 bars, this one, and now I could select everything. Uh, I would like to, just in case, quantize, because some clips had maybe different shuffles or stuff like this. <laughs> hey, buddy. And so now I can apply an overall groove. There you go. Exactly, stuff like this. So then now you can imagine, oh, I just showed you the technique, you can use it for tons of different ways. You can use it for atmosphere, textures, chords, melodies, vocals, percussions, feels, drums, <laughs> everything, absolutely everything. So that's it, and I see you in the next one.